Paul Carpetbagger here. I'm joined today by Christopher, and uh, we are out hunting an abandoned NASCAR track. That's why I brought him because he is the resident expert on NASCAR. <laughs> so hopefully we can uh, track it down. Follow us. You all right? You stuck the back straightaway. Yeah. How do you know which is the front straightaway? <laughs> you can tell by the turns. You can tell where you're at right there. Oh, because you because yeah. you, you would turn left. Yes, you would turn left and left again. Okay. Yeah, we're actually walking on the uh, track right now. All right, so this is, this would be the wall right here that the cars would, they'd be able to drive right up to here. You can see some, there's a lot of nicks and grooves, maybe when the cars would slam into the wall here. All right. This way heads to the bleachers, it looks like. Well, these bleachers look comfy. Sitting on this cold concrete. Look, he's making a left turn. Hey, hey, there's another left turn. Oh, he's coming down. He's coming How down. many left turns are there? What's he gonna do? He's gonna make a left turn and another left turn. Why don't they just uh, turn around and do it the opposite way sometimes? What they should do is have half of the field go <laughs> go one way and the other half go the other way. I don't think that works. <laughs> All right, let's go to the top the bleachers and see what we can see from there. All right, you kind of look down onto the track and get kind of a sense of what it looks like. All right, Christopher, give us a crash course. What what course are we on? This is Metrolina Speedway. Metrolina Speedway. Yeah, yeah, I think it opened in the early 1950s. Ah, it's an old one. A lot of the NASCAR greats got their star here. I know Richard Petty raced here and um, Dale Earnhardt, as he was moving up through the ranks, he actually raced here quite a bit. But it's been home to a lot of like future NASCAR stars. Do we know when it closed down? Um, they had been racing in other series here, I think, in through the 80s and 90s. But NASCAR took it off their schedule probably in the late 70s. Okay. Yeah, you can look down there. See the, the fence that would stop car parts from flying into people's faces. One would hope. Yeah, there's actually quite a few seats up here. This is more out towards the middle of the racetrack. There's a, it's a concrete. Okay, we have a nice old antique lawn chair. I wonder if someone was using this to watch some, some racing. Oh, these are ripping my pants apart, jeez. Oh gosh. All right, there's a orange barrel. Maybe that was used to section something off at one point. I don't know. All right, we're speeding along here. You can see this barrier wall right here. Hey, you can actually see some big tire grooves all the way through here. I wonder if this is left over from a race or the last race. Yeah, you can see where it gets more steep right here. And you can just see that the barrier has obviously been hit and swiped by many a car. Yeah, this is just ridiculously overgrown. There's trees growing in the tracks. I don't know, maybe there was some sort of tremendous car wreck here. Or maybe these trees just push this out with their roots. I don't know. Here's actually just a little bit of the track that's actually exposed. Here's some writing on the wall here. It says something heater. Maybe it's for like a local heating supply business or something. Yeah, looking here, we got, so you can see there's like a Looks like to be a picture of a, actually a picture of a gun right there. There's checkered flags, but I also see a gun. Can you guys see the gun right there? I know it's kind of obstruct. There we go. There's the gun. And then it says something about cigars down here. Okay. No, uh, now that I've been looking at it a little longer, I can see that it's two guns cross shooting out checkered flags and then it says cigar underneath it now up there it says have a time 
Yeah, there's old advertising all along here, but most of it's been chipped off where it can't be seen. All right, this area here I think is the old parking lot for the Speedway. Check this out. Here's some old uh, racing tires. Either that or someone just came and dumped all their tires back behind the old racetrack, but I like to think these are racing tires. So if this is a, it says can, I wonder if that stands for can D, maybe this is some piece of an old candy stand. All right, we have a little forest right in the middle of this big left-hand curve here. Yeah, this is peaceful out here, a little peaceful race car turn. All right, so that is the historical Metro Met Metrolina, Metrolina, Metrolina racetrack here in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. We were looking, there was to be a, a big sign that was here uh, a few years ago, but apparently uh, we were looking on our phones. Apparently Dale Earnhardt Jr. retrieved that and now has it at his house. So maybe someday we'll go to Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s house. We'll just find out when he's racing. Right. That way we know he's not well, he's home. He's retired now, so we'll find oh, out when dang. he's announcing. Find out when he's announcing yeah. a race and then we'll go to his house and we'll steal the sign and uh, possibly some of his money. All right. I appreciate you guys uh, joining us. If you like the other places I've been, abandoned and not, check down in the description of an interactive map. Uh, also, if you want to contribute, consider buying a t-shirt. Consider donating to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month. But for now, this one's in the bag. In the bag. <laughs>